y'all it's Shanice welcome or welcome back to my channel so I'm coming to you guys in my afro or my lioness hair um, my hair is huge right now I actually just washed it just shampooed it and this is what my hair looks like when I have no product in it yeah it literally just expands and <laughs> it looks pretty dry and everything but we are gonna get to that right now because I'm actually gonna be doing a deep condition with me type video something different I don't think I've ever done this on my channel but I feel like I have not talked to the camera in a really long time so yeah I'm gonna be deep conditioning my hair I'm gonna be using two different conditioners on either side just because I want to see the difference between them this is not a comparison video or anything like that um, I just personally want to see for myself and I've yet to try any of these so this is the Camille Rose nectar repair cholesterol treatment right here and then i have the diva curl heaven and hair divine deep conditioner and like i said i've yet to try both of these products but i heard that they are really good moisturizing products and if i'm being honest i have not actually sit down and deep condition my hair for like Sit over six months honestly like the most I do is in the shower 10 minutes boom I'm done so anyways let's just hop right into this okay so on this side I'm gonna be using the Camille Rose deep conditioner and honestly I'm just going to lather it on because my hair needs it it's like this yellow kind of color kind of looks like banana or something you guys probably can't see it but yeah it looks like banana mm, it smells pretty good smells like cake or like candy or something so I've been MIA on this channel for a minute I'm actually doing vlogmas or vlogsember over on my vlog channel so definitely go check that out I've been uploading every single day this month well I probably missed like two days but I pretty much been uploading every single day so if you miss me I'm over there on that channel so yeah just the Camille Rose natural product smells really, really good. And the consistency is not super thick. It's like right in the middle. Ooh. Oh my gosh. My hair is not even that wet. My I sprayed a little bit of water on it. And this gave my hair... Wow. The slippage on this. But you know Camille Rose natural products are expensive. So like I was saying, I haven't deep conditioned my hair like properly in probably over six months, maybe six months, I don't know. But I haven't actually sat down and did something like this with, to my hair. Um, so all in all, I haven't really been taking care of my hair because as like a natural hair influencer or whatever, you know, we always tell y'all to be deep conditioning your hair. That's like the number one thing, which is very, very true. Um, deep conditioning changes the whole game up but I don't know I just haven't been feeling my hair lately I came onto this platform you know learning about my hair and trying new things and taking care of my hair you know starting my healthy hair journey and all that and I've kind of like fell off of that because it's not really what I'm interested in anymore like I love my hair don't get me wrong I love my hair but I don't know I'm just not I'm not really interested in hair anymore like that and that translated to me not really taking care of my hair like I used to like I said I know that deep conditioning is super important so that's why even if I'm in the shower like every time I wash my hair I'll do like a 10 minute deep conditioner um, but that's about it <laughs> it's like I kind of fell out of love with my hair if that makes sense and that's another reason why I cut it because it's easier to manage I don't really have to do much to it and um, I just didn't want to bother with my hair that's the honest truth and you know I get so many emails and messages from you guys asking me to do certain things with my hair especially protective styles and honestly I'm just I don't like protective styles like protective styles is not something that I do and like I've been in this game for so long where it's like I've done everything under the sun to my hair well not everything but like I've done most things that I wanted to do to my hair I've even done protective styles and you know through everything I've realized like protective styles is just not my thing I'm not good at them I don't like them on me 
it's just not something that I want to do on my channel just because I'm not interested in to I'm not interested in it and I don't want to create content that I'm not interested in or that I'm not passionate about so for me where I want to take my channel and especially in accordance to natural hair is trying out new products trying out new hairlines that come out um and doing whatever I want to do to my hair whether that's a wash and go a braid out a twist out um, and seeing how it works in my textured hair and giving you guys obviously my 100% opinion on these new products or even devices like you know the new devices that are coming out like the steam straightener or that new what was it called that big thing that I reviewed on my channel like things like that that's where I want to take my channel like obviously occasionally I'll do like styles and all that but that's just not my forte from being on my hair journey for so long, I realize what I like to do to my hair and what I don't like to do. And um, that's just that. So yeah, after letting you guys know kind of where I want to take my channel in terms of natural hair, because I do obviously other things on my channel. Um, you know, in terms of reviewing products or reviewing devices, you know, new hair devices that come out or whatever. Let me know what you guys want me to review. Um, leave it down in the comment section. And I'm definitely check it out. We're going to see how easy this is able to detangle my hair after applying. Like, mm, my hair feels so good. Wow. This is just gliding right through. Okay, so this side is done and this is the Camille Rose natural side. My hair feels like heaven. It feels amazing. It feels like I needed to do this for forever. Ooh, honey, you might be my new favorite. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna work on this side now using, of course, the Diva Curl Heaven and Hair, and we're gonna see Wagwan. Okay, so this is the Diva Curl product right here. It's like a bluish white color. The consistency of this seems a little bit thicker than the Camille Rose Natural product. And this smells like a little bit more clean and fresh while the Camille Rose Natural smells sweet. But these are both very pricey products. Um, well, we are gonna see how it works in my hair. Let's see if I get the same satisfaction that I got when I put, that, when I put the Camille Rose Natural on my hair. It's not all the way there, but it's there just enough. Like you get nice slippage, but not, not as much as I got with the Camille Rose Natural, but still really, really good. So anyways, I gotta tell you a story about my hair, which I think I haven't shared this with you guys, but uh, yeah, so I would say last year, um, I think around November time when I went to the Rihanna Beauty Fenty event, when she first launched her, you know, makeup line, I think that was last year, yeah. So, during that time, I got a ponytail, um, like a really, really high ponytail, and I, I was doing the ponytails probably um, for the past three months before that. And the time that I went to the Rihanna Fenty Beauty event, um, I actually sewed it down, and it was extremely tight. And I did that because, obviously, I want my hair to be popping for that day. And um, I knew I was going to sleep on it before I went to the event. So I was like, nah, my hair's got to look good. So I sewed it in, making sure that it stayed in place. But I did it a little bit too tight. And um, my head was throbbing. My head was hurting. I was taking like a rat tail comb. And I was trying to like dig it in to like, you know, to loosen it up a little bit. And nothing seemed to work. So... As soon as the event was over, I literally like tried to rip the whole thing out, out of my head. I didn't have scissors or anything like that and I actually got somebody to help me and we literally kind of like ripped it out of my head and um, yeah, I got a bald spot from it and I think I realized it when I was straightening my hair. I think somebody pointed out to me, I'm not sure, but your girl had a bald spot. Literally ripped like a patch of my head out or of my hair out and I had no idea and honestly I wasn't mad about it, but I was just like dang 
I didn't know that my hair would just drop out like that. So right now, it's still growing back. I haven't been doing much to it to make it grow back, if I'm being honest. Because it's been a year, and to me, it's still, like, super, super short. So it's probably about this long right now, which is not long at all for a year. But it could be long, because literally, it was ripped bald. Like, ripped bald. It was just bald. Not even little bits of hairs were coming out. It was just bald. So that could be a lot for a year. <laughs> Um, but yeah, now like every style that I do when I do my wash and goes, even when I straighten my hair, it literally just like pops up. It's like in that really, really awkward stage. So yeah, I learned my lessons with ponytails and that I will not do them super, super tight. I'm definitely going to do them again because I really, really liked it. It was such a, such a me style, but just not as tight. So I found it and this is it right here. This is my bald spot. Well, it was a bald spot. I'm going to insert a picture so you guys can see how it really looked when it was bald. But this is how much it grew in a year. This is what happens when you don't take care of your hair. You get breakage and you get a bald spot. <laughs> no, i I forgot I didn't get to show you guys how the Diva Curl detangles my hair. So let's see. So this is not as easy to detangle like the Camille Rose Natural, but then again, I think I had a little bit more tangles on this side, so it's still really, really nice. Really nice. So we got the bang on our head, and then I'm going to add a towel for more heat. We good to go. See you guys all in 30 minutes. Okay guys, so it's been about 40 minutes and I just washed my hair out and um came straight over here so i'm like dripping wet like i probably have water coming down my face but my hair feels extremely extremely hydrated and soft it feels really really good but i do have to say that the camille rose natural side is just a little bit just has the slightest difference of softness than the diva curl side um yeah this side is just a little bit more soft and luxurious feeling this side's a little bit more it's still soft, but I could feel the difference slightly. <laughs> but either way, I think they both did a great job at hydrating and moisturizing my hair. And now I can move on to styling. Um, of course, um, if you guys want to see my wash and go routine, I will link it down below. But yeah, these are my results. Loving it. And my hair smells beautiful. So anyways, I'll see you guys all in the next video. I love you all so much. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next video. This is...